what's up guys got a little more content for you guys as you can see again working off of my phone so you got to excuse however this video is coming out um, i couldn't even get this image to display correctly so you're going to kind of see it creep down but really we're only going to talk about the top two guys here and again you know this is not me being biased or anything like that obviously i'm a Steelers fan but i just want to get the fan reaction of tj watt being rated a 96 Miles Garrett being rated a 99. Now, this is no disrespect to Miles Garrett. I think Miles Garrett is an excellent player, an outstanding pass rusher, a force of nature. I would my, wouldn't mind having him on the Steelers if he was on our team. Great player. But I don't understand how it is that he could be rated higher than TJ Watt. Doesn't make sense to me. Again, this is not about, you know, beefing over three points in terms of the rating tj watt is still going to be a force of nature in the game but i don't understand how they come to this conclusion you know i thought the ratings in madden was always based on the prior year's performance i didn't think that madden was more a projected or you know rating guys on overall talent as a person and not rating them based on what their performance has been i don't know I just assume since ratings are always coming out yearly that they're doing it on the prior year's performance. And if you're going to go off of that metric, TJ Watt has outperformed Miles Garrett for the last three seasons. You know, if you just look at the sack numbers and I know that, you know, you got to factor in injuries and things like that. Again, not taking anything away from Miles Garrett, but I went all the way back to the 2019 season. TJ Watt has outperformed Miles Garrett. TJ Watt last season was the you know the defensive player of the year. He also tied the season a uh, single season sack record. How is it possible that you're going to go into this year saying that he's not the number 1 pass rusher? I don't understand that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't get it. Again, I'm not, you know, trying to split hairs or anything here and I'm just trying to understand how they reach this conclusion. I hope someone can explain that to me. Again, I just wanted to make a quick video. Like I told you guys, I'm on vacation. You know, I still want to try to keep some content coming if I can. I got another one that I might throw out there as well in terms of the wide receiver position. And that'd be specifically to steal a nation. But anyway, what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about TJ Watt, number one, and not being in the 99 club and Miles Garrett being there over him? And how do you feel in general of Miles Garrett having a higher rating than TJ Watt? Even if it wasn't 99, let's just say Miles Garrett came in at 98. How do you feel about that based off of last year's performance? And the fact that I said, if you look at the statistics and, you know, unless what I saw was wrong, it shows for at least the last three seasons, TJ Watt has outperformed Miles Garrett. So how is it that Miles Garrett is still rated higher than him and he gets the nod for 99 all right and again guys you might hear background noise you know again i'm on vacation and we're actually babysitting <laughs> uh my little niece uh for a couple hours here on this vacation so you may hear her crying in the background but anyway just wanted to get some content up there man uh you guys let me know what you think of course if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel cut on your notifications hit that like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.